Aloha and good morning, Dr. Robert Pissar, EartherAcademy.com. Okay, this is going to be another rethinking reality. So this idea about pheromones, do you know what pheromones are and breeding? Is there a connection? And could it be possible that the reason being why a lot of things, including humans, aren't breeding is because the pheromones are not being understood as much as they should if you have pheromones as we're going to see we're going to take a walk out on the farm here and we're going to show you the pheromones in action and i'm talking powerful pheromones when a female goes into heat remember she attracts the males for mating if a female human has pheromones they will also attract a male for mating and there's a lot of difference between mating and, and having sex. So if you're void of pheromones, then you've got a lot of problems because now you can't attract the opposite sex. And females, remember, produce the hormone to be able to say, come to me, as we're going to see in the, in the video here. So this is just a short little introduction, but could it be possible if you, the female, are not producing pheromones. And of course, the man, if he has ample amount of testosterone and his hormones are balanced, will you be able to smell the pheromones to be able to attract, not that female, so you can go ahead and be attracted to that female? Okay, these are the pheromones in action. And if you take the pheromones away from these animals, like if you take away the gonads from the males, then they can't smell the pheromones, even though the female is producing them. So could it be possible, men, maybe the females are producing pheromones and it's your fault. You can't smell the pheromones because maybe you don't have the testosterone you're supposed to have as a man. Could it be possible that if you had more testosterone and or if the females' hormones were balanced, do you think we'd have more mating going on? I didn't say more sex. I said more mating. And you'll see the powerful, powerful connection that these hormones do. And when the hormones aren't present, then everybody is is just tranquil in their energy. But once one female goes into heat, she goes into ovulation. As, as humans go into ovulation, remember, once every month, you're in ovulation. And that hormone in ovulation is a pheromone. You can't smell it, but it's invisible. And it is powerful when activated and when the male can smell this scent. Or maybe your body can smell it because you can't smell it, but you are attracted to that person or even females in the same area, as you'll see from the sheep. If pheromones are present, just one girl out of ten, the animals are going to go ahead, the new ones will go ahead and try to find that female that's putting out the pheromone. And if it doesn't find it, it doesn't do anything with the females at all. It just doesn't even, they're not even existent. So anyways, take a watch. Uh, pheromones are very important. And we're going to talk about some of the things that mess up your pheromones and or mess up you being able to smell them. And or if you're a female, if you're producing them, then no one will smell you if you use these products. Anyways, it's a genius thing to be able to, to slow down population is to be able to just figure out ways to remove the pheromones from the humans and or animals or be able to mask the pheromones so no one can smell them. Like we used to put peppermint under a stallion's nose because he can't smell the girl, the one horse in the barn that's in heat. Little peppermint under there. We just change the way the pheromones now are not going to be presented. So anyways, enjoy the film and you'll be able to see my little babies out there. And I learn a lot from studying animals because they have a natural component to them. And everything in this place, remember the insects, the same thing, pheromones come out, they don't have sex, they mate and breed. And they mate and breed because they have no choice because the pheromones say so. That's all I'm trying to say. And if the pheromones aren't present because of a variety of different reasons, 
then breeding will not occur. You may, again, have sex, but that doesn't mean that you will have that child or that inhuman, at least, is because supposedly, remember, you have free will to be able to do as you wish, but not in the animal kingdom. All right, there's Tommy. Okay, guys, enjoy the film and just put it in your mind. Could it be possible that if the pheromones aren't present, then we will not breed as a species. And I'm talking mate, loving each other, courting each other. Remember, these are hormones that the male courts the female in nature. Look at all the dances that the birds do and all the different mating rituals that they do. It's all because of the pheromone attraction that the female puts out. And if that doesn't happen, then the male doesn't do the dance. That's just the way it is. And so everybody will look at each other as not connected, at least for breeding. So anyways, just wanted to open up your minds to this possibility, or maybe it's a probability, which I would say. But again, the big question is, even if you have the pheromones, why aren't we breeding? Is because there's other factors involved. Anyways, enjoy the, the, the video here. Okay, anyways, we'll see you guys. Aloha. All right.